Hey there, YouTube. Webcam9000 here, uh, back today to give you uh, a final review of the Apple Magic Mouse. Now, um, I got this, um, I originally pre ordered it online, um, and the delivery time was 7 to 10 working days. Um, I got the order through via email, and it said that it would arrive. Uh, I, ordered, I think I ordered it on like the sort of 6th, of, 6th or 5th of January. And uh, although it might probably more likely seventh, and um, I got the email through, and it said it wouldn't be here until the twenty seventh of January, and uh, I wasn't prepared to wait for that clearly. So I actually went to the Apple Store myself, cancelled my online order, and bought purchased it in store, which obviously saved me a lot of time and a lot of hassle. Um, I've been using it now for about two weeks, uh, and I have to say it's the best mouse com computer mouse I've ever used. Um, it's Bluetooth. So it will connect to your Mac uh, via Bluetooth. Uh, it comes with a standard set of two AA batteries. Um, it's very flat and very, very thin. Um, obviously, as you know, the top is a one massive trackpad, basically. I have noticed, actually, that um, I've mentioned on a previous video that the touch sens uh, sensitivity runs out when you get to the Apple logo here. Um, so it's not the whole, th it's, they say the whole thing is a trackpad, but it isn't quite the whole thing. But pretty much the whole surface is uh, a big button, basically. I can click all the way up to the Apple logo again, so that it's really quite nice, it's really good. Um, I can activate, uh, as you've seen in previous videos, I can activate um, uh, just sort of different things with Magic Prefs. It's, you know, and they work quite well. Obviously I've got Swipe to uh, go back a web page or to go forward a web page. I've got scrolling up and down. Um, and it's just really quite good. It, um, it, again, fits on the desk quite nicely and sort of fits to your hand. Uh, it, it, it does fit quite nicely around your hand. Um, it does take about sort of, I would say, 24 hours to get used to. But once you're used to it, it's very, very easy to use. And also with Ma Magic Press, it really does give it that extra edge to it that the um, original um, Apple Mouse had. Can't say Mighty Mouse anymore because of copyright reasons, apparently. Mighty Mouse is a TV program here in the UK. A few US people don't know, uh, and Apple was sued over it. But <laughs> quite a funny story, really. But um, basically, you know, uh, this... It's very, very good. It's a very, very good overall good experience. I just want to show you my uh, other mouse. I don't know where I, I put it now, actually. I may not be able, may not be able to find it for you, but um, I'll see if I can try. There we oh, there, oh, 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 there it is. All right, okay. This was my uh, original mouse. It is um, an Advent uh, mouse. And it came. It was two triple. It took two triple A batteries, and it used to have a little sort of dongle thing in the side, uh, which actually the dongle was so big, Giggity, that it would. Um, it, I would put it into one port, but then I wouldn't actually have enough space for uh, a, a second USB device to go in that port. So having a Bluetooth mouth really helps. Obviously, there's no wires attached, so I, I can still have the flexibility of uh, USB ports. But this. Um, I'm going to move on to battery life now. This sort of, this battery life sort of lasted, um, I don't know, constantly on. Uh, it lasted, I think, about sort of two weeks, two weeks, two to three weeks. That's if it was left constantly on. Um, even if I didn't do anything with it, it would it would still drain battery. So you know, sort of dud. There have been reports of the Magic Mouse losing uh, a lot of battery power. Uh, alongside the wireless keyboards that come with iMacs, or you can purchase separately. Um, if the if you operate the two together, apparently it does drain battery quite considerably. However, there have been other reports that say different, and that actually it doesn't drain battery at all of the two devices. But I'll just I'll just check for you now um, what sort of percentage my Magic Mouse is on. Sort of using um, general usage. Um, I will just check for you. Okay, currently it's on 90%. Um, so I've been using it for two weeks now, so I've lost 10% over two weeks. Um, I think that's pretty good going. Uh, I, you know, it's good battery life, but whenever I'm not using it, I do turn it off. I do tend to sort of turn it off. If I walk away from my computer, I, I'm very likely to actually turn off 
the magic mouse. I don't know. It, I don't know if it, it's actually saving battery power or sort of, you know, uh, help reduce it whenever I turn it back on. But it has lasted a long time um, to start. So, you know, overall, um, it's a very, very good mouse. Very, very good mouse. Um, no real flaw in it, um, other than one. I have actually, I disagree with the price. I, I think, although I'm not too sure, I mean, it's it's fifty uh, £5 in the UK. Um, I'm not too sure, I think it's about 70 or $60 in the US. And um, as you're thinking about it now, you are getting a trackpad mouse, basically. Uh, actually, I think it is worth the money. It is a little bit pricey, but it is definitely worth the money. If you have a MacBook uh, or a MacBook Pro, I do strongly suggest you get uh, the Magic Mouse. It's a brilliant companion, um, and it works like a dream. I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever uh, so far. Obviously, they ship uh, a standard with the new iMacs, uh, 22 or 27 inches, um, and they're brilliant. Obviously, uh, paired with a Mac with Magic Press, it's even better. Because obviously you can enable uh, spaces, expose, uh, and anything you like, really. Um, and there are just so many different combinations you can use with Magic Press. So you can also increase the tracking speed and the uh, clicking speed as well. So overall, uh, I suggest if you, if you are going to get a Magic Mouse, do get Magic Press alongside it. Because it, it definitely enhances it and definitely makes the experience better. But um, yeah, I think that is about it. That, this has been the review uh, of the uh, Apple Magic Mouse. Uh, if I was actually to give it a result, uh, I would probably give it 10 out of 10. It's just fantastic. Maybe 9.5 out of 10, really, for um, the leeway the price, I think. But uh, there you go. Uh, review of the Apple Magic Mouse done and dusted. Um, not too sure if there will be any more coverage on the uh, Magic Mouse, but uh, we will wait and see. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitch.com forward slash Mercury Ollie, couple N, couple O. 1L in Ollie. Um, check out the 10 to 12 website. I'll put a link in the sidebar. I think it's me.com forward slash Mercury forward slash 10 x 2 xii And that should lead you right there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Would somebody please note um, <clears throat> this uh, is the Apple Magic Mouse. Uh, this is how to remove the back cover and take out batteries. Put that back on. Quite simple. This is a Logitech basic bog standard mouse. Observe. Button for taking out batteries or replacing them. The, the hell? I mean, It's sealed! It's smegging sealed!